Welcome to Let's Talk Investing, a co-production of the Globe and Mail and the Investor Education Fund. I'm Rob Carrick, personal finance columnist at the Globe and Mail, and with me is Michael Gray. And Michael started on Bay Street in 1962, the year I was born, and he now runs his own investment counseling firm. Michael, let's zero in on mistakes people are making with bonds and GICs. Now, those are products that people have been putting a lot of money into, and yet it's possible to make mistakes with them, even though people are buying them for safety. What, what kind of mistakes are people making? Again, we'll just put them in with, without a plan and, and have a plan and, and, uh, and interest rates will, will, go, uh, will fluctuate in the, uh, over the life of your investments. So anticipate that. How can you s smooth that out? Well, have a ladder, have a ladder of maturities coming due. Can you explain you know, to people what a ladder is? Yes. A, a, a bond, for example, coming due every single year for the next 10 years. That's what I ideal. And then when the, when the 2010 bond comes due, we'll we'll replace the proceeds with something maturing in 2021. We'll do it that way. And if we went out 10 years, every year for 10 years, I, that, that, by the way, to me, would be the maximum right now. Keep it, we don't know quite which way we're going, uh, the, the route of expediency, the route of, of, uh, uh, of uh, austerity. Uh, I hope the latter, but if not, if, if expediency, deficits continue, then inflation becomes a great problem. Uh, fixed income, you know, worth that much less purchasing power diminishes, so uh, you must have bonds, but keep term short. That's, I would answer How that way. Right. Keep the ladder short as well. about over-reliance on bonds? Are people putting too much money into them? Is it possible to have too much in your portfolio in bonds? Yes, I think so. I think over time, no, no question, uh, equities over time are proven best. Uh, and equities over time, dividends will rise, earnings will rise, the market cap will rise, the market valuation. So equities are the way to grow. Uh, bonds produce the income you need. Equities produce the total return, income and the growth you need to get you to that, that ultimate goal. Now, one last quick question for you. Um, what do you do with your bonds in your portfolio if there's an outlook for rising interest rates? I would shorten the ladder, sh uh, shorten the ladder. Uh, I would, uh, that's probably the simplest answer. Okay, so you there. want short-term bonds. Uh, and, and by short-term, uh, not more than Maybe I'd make six or five or six years, seven, six or seven years, and you'd be amazed the maturities you can find. Quality corporate bonds, uh, REITs. Uh, maybe you could stretch it into preferred shares. Good preferred shares. You know, they have fixed income as well, uh, but shorten it if, if rates are going to rise. Right now, don't exceed ten years. Ten years maximum. All right. Thanks, Michael.